that's better. Um, I was holding the camera the wrong way around because it's been so long since I made a video that I don't actually remember how to hold the camera. Uh, I have my tripod down for later to try and look a little bit more professional. Um, worst opening ever. Hello, good more afternoon. It's the 1st of October, otherwise known as the 1st of Halloween. Who else is excited? Uh, my name is Rebecca. Welcome to my vlog. Uh, just doing a little quick intro hello because I'm planning to do more stuff later. Right now we're going out just for a walk. I got this fitness tracker thing and I'm making a real effort to try and be a little bit healthier and uh, feeling that at least do some more exercise in the form of walking because right now I've done nothing. According to this thing I have done Sorry, <laughs> I have done 304 steps, you probably can't see that, uh, and I've been up for nearly three-ish hours. I got up, actually, I've been awake for three hours, I've been up for two hours, um, because I decided I could need to lie in bed for too long, um, and then nearly fell asleep again, so that was a good start for the morning. I'm almost ready, I've got my new earrings in, um, I need to clean my glasses because I'm sure you can see or maybe not because the camera's not great. Uh, there's fingerprints all over them. They're filthy. These are my favourite glasses. They're the ones I wear most often. Um, but they were cheap and they don't have uh, like a special... Like I do a lot of work with computers or I did whenever I got these glasses. They were supposed to have like a, a special anti-reflective coating film on them. Like you probably recognise these ones that I normally wear. You can see the little green tinge on them. Um, they're special. They like reject dirt and fingerprints and you can see out of them much better but these ones are much lighter and much more comfortable despite the fact they're bigger they're made out of like a lighter metal and thinner lenses so I prefer to wear these ones when I'm doing stuff day to day but they're filthy <laughs> they're absolutely filthy I've been working in the warehouse in work for the last couple of weeks um in overtime I don't know if you've ever worked in a warehouse but it is just the most disgusting place my hands come out and they are black. Keeping in mind I'm working in the clothing section. So you'd wonder why they're dirty. Um, but they are. So uh, speaking of work, that's pretty much all I've been doing this last couple of weeks. Honestly, I haven't been anywhere or done anything of note or fun. Um, speaking of fun, I'm cleaning the disgusting coffee machine today. It, uh, is on the verge of not working <laughs> because it is so dirty. I think I'm gonna have to do another one of these uh, descaler things because it's just absolutely filthy. It's just, I've got, I'm drinking out of this machine. It's disgusting. Um, but no, work, that's the only place I've been. And I actually got sent home sick two days in a row um, last week, Friday and Saturday, because I took a migraine on Friday um, and I was very, very ill. I haven't had one in quite a few months. I thought maybe I'd grown out of them. Um, I was getting, what's the word where you're like happy but you're also like cautious? It's not cautiously optimistic. Maybe it is cautiously optimistic. But because I hadn't had one for so long I thought maybe that I, I wouldn't be getting them anymore. Obviously because I'm, I'm 23 I got them, I think the first one I had when I was 16-ish. I thought maybe they are just like a hormonal teenager thing. Um, but no, they're running the family so I'm guessing I'm just going to have to deal with that for the rest of my life. Wonderful. Um. So I got sent home sick two days in a row. Uh, good on me for trying, at least. I went in even though I thought I was going to die on Saturday just to try and see if I could claw back a few hours. Uh, usually I only work on Saturdays for about... Well, I, I'm there for eight hours, but I only get paid for seven hours because I get an hour break. Um, so I only did three or four hours on Saturday and four hours on Friday. So that's only... Eight hours. Well, actually, no, I was in on Thursday as well. I did full five and a half hours, six hour shift then as well. But the point is, I'm going on holiday soon, so I need money. So I'm trying to do as many hours as I can. And having having to go home and miss out on your regularly scheduled shift, I send that five times fast, is a wee bit annoying. So back in on Thursday, um, not Friday this week, and then back in again properly for my normal shift on Saturday. I'm trying to take it easy. A little bit um as much as I want to go back to work and to work up loads of hours I'm trying really hard to take it easy because I'm afraid of making myself worse if that makes sense I'm okay now I, I was absolutely dying on Saturday I was worse than what I was on Friday like after the migraine I had like I think the migraine stopped like officially around two o'clock but I didn't feel in any way shape or form better until about nine 
um, nine at night and then obviously I was going to bed because I had to get up at five for work but I don't know what happened during the night but I just woke up feeling like warm death um, but I went in anyway I didn't say anything and then it got to around I don't know half seven so an hour and a half into my shift and I was just like I can't do another six and a half hours of this I have to go home and lie down so I had to tell my manager and he was nice enough to let me go um, I don't think anybody's too mad about it to be honest even though I, I went home two days in a row because at least it shows you know I, I, I was willing to go in even though I was feeling like death and at least I did do like I said a couple of hours so fingers crossed it won't affect my pay too much um, I don't know how it works with like you know when you're off from anything like school or work whatever it affects your attendance rate I'm only scheduled to be there one day a week and I missed some of it so like does that take an enormous chunk out of my attendance rate or do they take in the fact that I've been there with overtime more like the days that I've been there on overtime sort of show that I'm there capable of being there more and I, I have like a higher percentage rate of being in on my overtime do, do you know what I'm saying um I guess I'll find out on Thursday whenever I go back but yeah that's basically all I've been doing uh work not well and wanting to do a couple of videos for a change I think that was I decided whenever I was lying in bed in agony on Friday I was going to try and do some more videos uh, because these are these are fun. Um, I like doing little video diaries and um, I like having a record of things that have been going on because I don't have a very good memory as I'm sure I've said many times but uh, I don't remember. So it's nice to have some sort of record um, because I've never been a, a writing diary kind of person. I used to do like a, a word document diary but it was more um, it had a lot more to do with my like mental health and my sort of documenting taking medication and stuff because in the beginning the medication really messed with my my memory like I, I could point at that right now and say yeah probably is affecting it still but uh, sorry I'm looking over into the distance we have white curtains and I'm seeing like a little a little squiggly and I'm, <laughs> I'm planning on going out in a minute so I'm just trying to see if it's like in both eyes. If it's both eyes, I'm getting another migraine and I'm going to have to put all my plans on hold and go to bed for like six hours. But if it's just in one eye, it's just a flasher and or a floater, whatever you want to call them. And um, I can continue getting ready as soon as I put the phone down. Lost my train of thought. Oh yes, yeah, so I was talking about my memory. Of course, I lost my train of thought talking about my memory. That's just amazing. Um, do you know what? I'm going to go now because I've been talking for eight minutes and if I don't get going soon I'm going to be dying of starvation by the time I get back so I will see you when I return. Yes so I've returned home finally um thank god for that it's disgusting outside my hair is coming down my skin is bright red thanks for that uh what did I get I got some nail oil that's really good I got some chips and I got harassed by an old man awesome I love going outside I was trying to cross the road and uh, this dude was coming up one way so I stopped to let him through but he waved me on as if you can go. I was like oh I'll start to go and then I turned around and this dude like zoomed past me within an inch of my face going about 95 miles an hour right. Then I looked over to the other dude who honked and still said go and then I was like no no. I need a minute to calm down. I'm going to, be going to go behind you. So as he was like going on, he rolled down the window and started yelling at me. And I have no idea what he said. Either, why weren't you looking at the road or like yelling at me? Like everybody, everything's my fault. I, <laughs> I looked both ways before I crossed the road. That dude was speeding. How is that my fault? <laughs> Ugh, I hate going outside. I hate it. Didn't even get my 5,000 steps, I don't think. Hold on, let me, let, let me check. Nope, 4,855. I'm trying to do, well, I don't have to try. In work, I regularly do around 15,000, um, but my goal for my days off is to try and do at least 5,000. I know you're supposed to do 10,000, but I don't go out. So, <laughs> um, manageable goals is what we're going for. I'm really annoyed about that guy. I don't even know what he said to me. He's just yelling. Like, who thinks it's appropriate to wind down their window while you're trying to drive and yell at someone across the street? Who does that? This old... Also trying not to swear. <laughs> trying really hard. Um, this old guy, apparently, he, he thinks it's okay. 
Actually, you know what? I got milk as well. I better go and put that in the fridge. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really quite glad I'm back in the house because it's disgusting outside. Like, you know what? I'm just gonna take those off for a wee second. Um, it's really disgusting outside. Like, it's it's too cold for no jacket. Like, I had this little thing here and my shirt on that I was wearing a wee minute ago. Um, it's too cold for nothing, but it's too warm for more than one layer. And I kept having to take my coat off and on and off and on, and now my arms are all sticky because I had to carry it. It's just gross. And I'm all sweaty because I had to like walk kind of briskly to get home because my arm was getting sore from carrying the milk. This is why I don't go outside. So, more bad things today. Uh, well, I suppose they're not really bad things in the grand scheme of things, but they're more than a minor inconvenience. I went to Tesco's and I bought some nail oil because I paint my nails a lot. Um, you can see all of my nail polish that I'm currently wearing here. Uh, there's like six bottles. That's, I, I, yeah, I was currently wearing six different colours of nail polish just because that's what I like to do. Um, but when I put it on, I was like, what, what does that smell? Um, it has sweet almond oil in it and it smells like cherries almost. You know, that kind of almond cherry smell. Um, that sets off my migraines, almonds. Um, I can't eat anything with like brandy snaps or marzipan or almond cake. Can't eat any of those things because they set off my migraines. Actual almonds, like from the ground or from... The almonds are from the ground, aren't they? Wherever the actual nuts of almonds are, they're fine. All other kinds of almonds can't have. So um, I put some of this on every single finger. Um... And I will just have to wait and see because I've already smelled it and it's already on my body. So if I don't come back, it's because I had a migraine. This stuff wasn't cheap, it was like six quid. I don't really want to have to return it. I've, I've had enough of today, I'm going for a nap. I really have like 19 million things to do today. I really need to tidy my room again. Um... <laughs> Basically, what making videos by tidying my room is the only time my room actually gets tidied, uh, because I hate tidying. I need to do the dishwasher, it's full of crap. Um, the coffee machine is on the verge of not working because it's filthy. <laughs> I tried cleaning it earlier, um, it hasn't really taken, it's still giving me the wet red warning lights that mean it needs cleaned. Um, I have a present to make for someone for Halloween, oddly enough. I'm trying to make my cousin something, um, a little square pumpkin, so I need to get him sewn. I need to organise my scrapbook because there's like a mountain of stuff sitting over there that needs to go into it. I need to finish my George Warleggin plushie because he's sitting full of needles and he's going to stab someone. I don't mean like he's actually going to like get up and stab someone. I mean like someone's going to touch him and they're going to get stabbed. I need to tidy the living room. Uh, I need to do my nails again because it feels weird not having polish on. But no, I'm not doing any of those things. I'm going for a nap. So I will see you later. There's nothing flattering about this angle whatsoever. Um, hi, back again at 20 to 7 with my not as nice glasses and my gross hair back. Kind of look like the villain librarian in like a kids TV show at the minute with my little dumpity ass ponytail. I actually got my hair cut the other week. Um, so remember the last video that I posted in May at some point, it was like down to here. It's about here now. Um, and I much prefer it because it's much lighter and it's neat. But um, yes, I'm, oh, see, I've been trying to do my nails for the last 40 minutes. I was trying to do this picture, which I will put in here. Um, it's like matte top coat on a bunch of nice little like designs on your two accent fingers. But I only did one because I was convinced I couldn't do two perfectly. Um, and I couldn't even do one perfectly. I don't know if you can see that. But all the crusties are around my cuticle and I just smeared it here at the side and there's polish all over my hands because I keep touching it. <laughs> I just <laughs> I just wanted some nice nails. I wanted to do a stamper on this hand. This hand looks marginally better but it's all crusties in the cuticles as well and little missing bits. I was trying to use this nice nail polish stamper that my mom got me for um was it Christmas or my birthday? I don't remember. She got it for me like a year ago and I haven't used it because I don't have any stamping polish but I forgot about that so I thought maybe I could just use regular black polish and it didn't work. So I was going to have like 
spookies on this nail and then like a little I don't know what you want to call it, a little star hanger design on this nail or like a Ouija board or something. I don't know. It's what I get for wanting to decorate my nails. I'm just sitting here now. Seriously, I'm just, I'm not doing anything. I'm just waiting for my nails to dry and I should be doing a million and one other things. The dishwasher needs done. Uh, I have sewing to do. I have writing to do. I have games I could be playing. I could tidy up this mess. It's freezing in here. It is absolutely Baltic. It says 18 degrees, which is... I'm trying to figure out what that is in Fahrenheit. Maybe like 60s? Um, thereabouts in the 60s. And it's definitely not. It's like maybe 10 degrees in here. I don't know if it means it's 18 outside, but in here it's about 10 degrees. Maybe. I don't want to go into the kitchen because it's even colder in there. I kind of feel like I need to make a list of things that I need to do um, in order to try and get this into some sort of order. By this I mean my life, um, or at least my week. I feel, I've done so much today but I feel like I haven't done anything because it wasn't stuff that I planned to do or stuff that I needed to do. Except for the dishwasher, I just finished that and I'm freezing again. I stood in a puddle from the, the water from the dishwasher and my feet are absolutely Baltic, they're like icicles, even though I'm wearing floppy socks, it is so cold in here. The heat's gonna take forever to come on. I don't know if you can hear it gurgling, but it's getting very Blair Witch in here with all the strange noises. Um, I really want to do a list. A, because it would be helpful to have it all down on paper, and B, because I really like lists, because I'm weird like that. But I feel like that's also kind of setting myself up for failure, because has anybody ever finished a list? Like, ever? Like, they've done a list of stuff stuff to do, a to-do list, if you will. Has anybody ever actually gotten to the bottom of it and gone, yeah, I've done everything on the list? Because I don't know any of these people, these magical, fictional, unicorn, Bigfoot people. I, uh. Plus, you always come up with more things while you're doing the list. And you never, <laughs> you never just stop. You always have more stuff to do. Ugh. I need to do something because I can't, I've got two more days off this week. I've got tomorrow uh, in the house by myself for a little while at least and I want to do some sort of video recording on the camera thing like a proper video with proper audio and you know the nice camera that doesn't make me look kind of grainy and shimmery. Um, so I would like to do that tomorrow but I don't know how long that's gonna take and I'd if I, if I thought that I had to do only one thing tomorrow, it would probably be do some stuff off the list. Because I can do stuff off the list or I can do a video that they're, you know, they're, they're, they're like long tasks. Um, when I say do the video, I mean like sit down, uh, record it, edit it, get it up. Uh, I'm still using Windows Movie Maker, so I don't know if you really call that a video at the end of the day because it's gonna be so crap quality but y you know what I mean so I'm kind of in two minds about what to do I really want to play I really want to just take it easy as well I said I at the beginning of today that I was going to try and take it easy but um I don't know how to do that so there's gotta be some sort of way of finding a good balance I just I don't know how to do it myself